So why do mudslides have the potential to be so lethal? Well, generally for a mudslide to occur, you need three major factors. The steep slope, of course, is the most fundamental part. However, this also needs a thick layer of soil or loose rock capable of being turned into mud and not being restrained or held back by the roots of trees or other substantial growth. This most commonly happens where half or more of the trees on a particular slope have been removed by logging either for firewood or for other purposes. This then creates the potential area for the mudslide to happen. Next, we need the rain, which not only needs to be heavy, but also prolonged. A short, heavy shower won't actually penetrate that deeply into the soil. And for a mudslide to occur, the water needs to go deep into the soil to reduce the friction holding the soil together at all the various different layers. Finally, generally you need a triggering event, something which makes the whole slope vulnerable to collapse. There are several potential causes for this, but the two most common are undercutting of the slope at the bottom, either by water eroding the base of the slope, or by human activity clearing up previous debris which has come down the slope, like say onto a road. Now the other potential cause is an earthquake, which will suddenly release the slope. Now, once the mudslide actually starts, it's impossible to stop. The momentum built up within it is similar to an avalanche. In a mudslide, however, it also carry down trees and anything else that was on the slope at the time it collapsed. The force created by the slide, combined with the mass involved, will demolish virtually anything in its path. However, unlike a rock slide, which may leave pockets of space in damaged buildings behind for people to actually survive in, these spaces are rapidly filled with muddy water, meaning that even if people survive the initial impact, they're likely to drown shortly afterwards. This muddy soil also makes digging out anyone a near impossibility. So, what can we do to reduce the possibility of a lethal mudslide? Well, there are two key factors. First is to identify a potential site where a mudslide might actually occur. Secondly, is to take action to prevent this slide occurring on these spots. This could take the form of reforesting the slope or by reinforcing the base with boulders or similar objects to prevent the base giving way in the first place. So that's why mudslides have the potential to be so lethal.